love for you to talk a little bit about um, a couple of things I read in your literature. Mm -hmm. One being deregulation, and two being um, conser conservation or looking forward to future generations in terms of human and environmental resources. Yeah. So I, I'm interested to hear what your ideas would be about how those two things you see being um, compatible in the future. Yeah. Well, deregulation, of course, is a broad, important subject. When I was chairman of the Governmental Affairs Committee, I introduced a bill uh, with Carl Levin, Liberal Democrat, uh, in hopes that we could come together. He represented Detroit, uh, so he was kind of interested in deregulation, surprisingly enough, uh, as I was. And it was based on the proposition that we now have regulation on regulation on regulation uh, that is not often thought out and doesn't undergo a cost-benefit analysis. Our theory was, you know, we need some regulations, but for every new regulation, let's have a cost-benefit analysis. How much does this cost us as a nation, both the direct and indirect cost? How much are we having to pay for it? You know, it may sound good, you get a headline, you know, in your hometown newspaper, you sponsored a bill to regulate so-and-so, we're going to wipe out this bad stuff, and we're going to promote this good. Then you go on about your business and forget about it, and let the bureaucracy take it over for the next 50 years. And you have to ask yourself whether or not, you know, it's panning out. So, uh, I, I think we're over-regulated. I think we're stifling American business in many respects. Uh, we live in an international economy, everybody knows that. But so much of that economy now uh, is, is uh, dependent, our manufacturers are, are dependent on the regulations that they're getting from Washington. That's the difference in profit and loss. The price that they can charge is kind of set on a global basis. There's not as much as they can do about that. Uh, they can't raise the prices to meet it necessarily because competition won't let them. But at the same time, they're suffering from the cost of additional regulation on top of additional regulation here and it's making us less competitive in the economic marketplace. So that's my general read on regulation. If you got a regulation, put it on the table, let's analyze it and do it objectively and scientifically and see what kind of cost-benefit uh, ratio we can get out of it. Um, in terms of uh, 